Elio guys and welcome back and in today's old video is just an updated video no worries here it's for drowsy uh, and this video was actually requested a couple months ago but we're not going to talk about that so let's go ahead and get right into it here All right, so since this is an updated video, I do believe sleep was changed since the first time that Jazzy was introduced, which was maybe a couple years ago when I first did his review. So let's go and see what he's working with nowadays. So anyways, uh, we have Fire Jazzy here. He's a tank type and he's coming in with uh, nearly 42K HP, 2.1K attack and 2.5K defense. Decent stat distribution, but do remember that the Drowsies are rebirth mons, and if memory serves correctly, we're going to find out why uh, <laughs> there's something really, really special about Drowsy here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the skills. So uh, he has Adrenaline, which grants 100% chance to restore 25% of his own HP when attacking for his 3-star skill. And then for his 5-star skill, there's Sleep, which grants 90% chance to put a target to sleep for one turn. And if you guys don't know, if you do put Amon to sleep, uh, I do believe the next hit on them, which will wake them up, is a guaranteed crit, which could be useful, but also could not be useful because if your mons are critting already, I do know that crit resist is the thing, but let's say in theory your mons are critting already, then sleep is like stun but worse. That was the real issue of sleep. Uh, and then his variant skill is just a crit lead, which if you're running a crit lead in PvP, because you don't have max crit, you're probably fighting someone with Crisis Aversion, and even if you don't have max crit, I'm not sure that's really going to turn the tides, but I don't know everything in the world. So, very interesting setup here. Um, Book-wise, though, looks like Adrenaline gets 25% damage increase, and then Sleep gets a 25% damage increase, and it goes to 100% for one turn. Once again, just not very good, because think about it, if you have stun for one turn, even if I hit that Mon and I crit on him or not, he's still not going to wake up. But if sleep is active, it's more of like a manual play type skill of, if I'm going to hit this Mon, I need to make sure that either I'm going to kill him or there's, there's someone else that's bringing some crowd control to the table to disable him from attacking again, because if not, the whole sleep thing was kind of pointless. So it's a very... I would say it's kind of like a niche crowd control skill, at least in a PvP situation. PvE, you can do whatever you want. Uh, moving on next though, we do have Water Drowsy, who's a balance type. He's coming in with 27k HP, 2.7k attack, and then I'm just going to say 2.7k defense. So decent stat distribution right there, nothing too incredible and nothing like crazy bad or crazy sad so i'm down with that uh let's take a look at his skills though so for his three star skill and his five star skill he has sleep uh his three star sleep is 80 percent chance for one turn which is fine and then for his five star skill it's 90 percent chance for one turn which once again is basically the same as a fire one but the fire one does have a way to heal himself so already i'm kind of like i'm not sure about this man i mean once again there's other mods with lower percentage for their stun for example at 70 percent but it's two turns already which already kind of beats out sleep but let's take a look at the skill books so skill book wise he gets a 20 percent damage increase on his three star skill and it goes up to 90 percent for one turn i do believe and then for his five star skill uh it does go to 90 percent two turns and it gets a 25 percent damage boost let me clarify that so booking the water one up to get that extended sleep would be super duper helpful, but once again, but wait, there's more. If you have mons in your team that are doing AoE moves, then I am assuming that you're running another mon here that may have sleep or stun, because if your mon is running an AoE move and you get stun on a target or two, and then you hit those mons, they're going to wake up. So is it really worth the sacrifice just to get that crit off? Let's find out. I'm not going to find out. You can find out yourself. All right. Uh, next up, though, is going to be Wood Drowsy. He's an attacker type. He's coming in with 25k HP, 3.2k attack, and then about 2.3k-ish defense. So once again, pretty standard as an attacker. His stat distribution seems to be pretty normal, I would say. There's nothing too spicy about it. And I mean, I'd rather it be normal versus bad. So I mean, look at it that way. It's a positive. 
Uh, taking a look at his skills though, for his 3 star skill, no surprise to anyone, uh, he has sleep which has 80% chance for one turn, and then he has defense down and is, it appears that he's crit reliant too because it says critical hits lower the enemy's turn for two turns. So you're already going to have to build him with crit rate attack attack, which is perfectly fine because sleep you know it guarantees that you're going to get a critical hit off i mean if you guys have better feedback than me on this feel free to chime in but it's just like okay i built him with max crit he's already an attacker type i was probably going to go max crit on him anyways and now his defense down is reliant on his crit but like there's nothing that synergizes with his moves to output any more damage on him than what he is already given so very very weird champ here uh but his sleep on his 3 star skill gets a 20% damage increase and it goes to, what was that, 90% for one turn again? Yeah, 90% for one turn. And then defense down gets a 25% damage increase and it goes to 3 turns defense down. Which isn't bad, but since it's paired up with sleep and a already crit reliant mon with okay stats, it's just not super duper appealing, at least in my opinion. I'm not trying to be hard on him, it's just that... I'm not sure what smart study was thinking with the whole drowsy thing like i know sleep is his thing but if you're gonna bring the sleep man you got to bring some spice in with the sleep and not just have this whole thing going on right here all right moving past that though we do have light drowsy he's an attacker type he's coming in with 27k hp 3.2k attack and then 2.2k defense so pretty similar to the wood one right there so i'm not going to get into the stats and instead, we're going to check out his skills. But do remember, since he is a light type, it is slightly easier to build him with max crit rate than all the other mons here. But for his 3-star skill, sleep, it has a 70% chance, and it puts targets to sleep for 2 turns, which, okay, okay, this is usable. And then for his 5-star skill, elemental edge, not my favorite, but considering all the other drowsies we've seen so far suddenly this one looks like a god like this one looks top tier once again it's a scenario of it's easier to build him with max crit which is fine and then elemental edge could be used if you're not fighting dark mons but usually light mons fight dark mons because they're weak against each other so elemental edge is wasted on a dark mon but anything else is not technically wasted it's really up to you how you choose to use that here but 70 percent chance for two turns for sleep i'll take it man at this point i will take it uh but we can see here with books though, uh, sleep does get a 20% damage boost and it goes up to 90% for two turns. And then elemental edge, it gets a 25% damage boost as well. So this is where things kind of take a turn for, I want to say the better. Uh, so far, this has been probably the most appealing drowsy out of all of them. And last but not least is the dark one. So let's go ahead and head over there, you guys. I know you guys look at my Astro Guide and you're like, Elio, you have both light and dark drowsies? Mind your own business. It's for the Astro Guide. Mind your own business. But anyways, we have the uh, Dark Drowsy over here. He's an attacker type coming in with 26k HP, 3.3k attack, and then about 2.3k defense. So stat-wise, uh, he's pretty similar to the Light one and the Grass one. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his skills real quick. So for his 3-star skill, it is the exact same copy just like the light one is 70 percent chance for two turns of sleep and then for his five star skill he has hunter which raises his damage by 40 percent with a critical hit okay this is usable because if i put a monster to sleep and then i also go over there and slide out with hunter i'm not saying it's going to do more damage than what hunter already gives but at least i know when i hit him and hopefully he cannot act that i am going to get some damage off of him I i'm okay with this I'm okay with this. I personally don't use any mods of sleep, so I can't be the one to tell you what's good and what's not because stunning to me is just way better, stunning or shock, because I know that mon can't act for a turn if I hit him or not. But book wise here, uh, sleep for his 3 star skill gets a 20% damage boost and it goes up to 90% for 2 turns. Once again, that's fine. And then Hunter uh, goes to 50% and gets a 15% damage boost. So, all in all, not too terrible. I think to sum things up here though, pretty much the RGBs of Drowsy just aren't worth obtaining unless you're doing it for the Astro Guide like I am, like not even kidding, I am. I just want them for the Astro Guide and they'll probably hang out in my mom box and rot or I'll, I will release the RGB ones. 
But I mean, the light and dark ones are arguably pretty much the same here. I wouldn't really bring light in as a wave clearer because of sleep and elemental edge. And if I was going to use any of them, like from a PVP standpoint, it would probably only be the dark one paired up with some other mons. Like pretty much only the dark one, in my opinion, is anywhere near usable. The rest, they're just hanging out for the Astro Guide, but I do hope the video helps. If there's a certain drowsy that you want to go for, it's none of my business what you choose to go for, but I would say dark one is probably priority number one, followed by light, and then RGB is up to your discretion. But yeah, this is the updated video. I do apologize that it took a little bit of time to get to it, but you, you guys should rest assured that even if you leave a comment on my video and it takes a year, hopefully a lot less than a year, that uh, things will be done at some point. But yep, that's pretty much it. If you haven't considered subscribing, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, feel free to like it at any point in time. And yeah, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, and see you.